Hey everybody, I'm Katie, and welcome to Head of the Class. I am joined today by Mr. Jerry Statt, Freedom Project Academy's high school history teacher. Mr. Statt joined FPA in 2014 and has taught United States history and American studies, as well as world history. Mr. Statt, not everyone loves history. Some find the subject to be boring. So tell us why you chose to dedicate yourself to teaching the next generation about our nation's past. I think it probably goes way back to my childhood. Um, my father was a minister and we traveled around the country quite extensively. He had churches uh, from California to Pennsylvania during his career. And so I, I just I grew to love the country. And I had uh, in Iowa when I went to high school what was considered a tough little mean high school teacher, but she was very fair and she made it very interesting. And I guess that's where my love of history kind of has its roots. Now, in an ideal world, teaching history would involve visiting historical sites. So how do you present history to your students in a virtual classroom? Well, the software we use is very interactive and very good. And so uh, I try to present class with a generally a PowerPoint, let's call it shell, that I can speak to. But when it comes to interesting sites and uh, points in history and people and events, there's always a lot of good YouTube videos that we can sort down and look at. So, you know, I try to mix in visual, um, good videos uh, every class for four or five or six minutes. And that sort of uh, expands on the PowerPoint presentations. And students who have taken your courses often talk about how much they learn from your personal travel stories. I expand mm -hmm. upon this and how your travel experiences have been brought into the classroom. Yeah, I taught high school for three years after graduating from college, and then uh, I went into business career. And fortunately, as uh, my career went on, I had the opportunity to travel extensively around the world. Uh, I don't know exactly how many countries I visited, but most all of them in Europe and many of them in Asia, China. Um, and so, uh, you know, when a student asks questions about something in history, I can very often kind of relate to it. Uh, and so that being able to travel the world has been a real big benefit to uh, to me and I think to the students in making it more meaningful to them. And you have experience, as you said, in the business industry and you've been a school teacher before. What made you specifically decide to spend these next years here at FPA? <laughs> well, I retired from corporate life. Uh, we moved to Florida some 18 years ago. And so when I retired about uh, five years ago, I, I really kind of wanted to go back to teaching. And I, I found uh, this organization uh, almost by accident. And so it fit. Um, you know, I had taught before and loved teaching. I did a lot of corporate training. And so uh, it really just allowed me to contribute again, uh, do some things in retirement that are a lot more interesting than just sitting on the couch and reading. And so that's really what, uh, what brought it all about. All right, now before we wrap up, uh, I wanna do this little quick fire session. So answer the following questions as quickly as you can. Please give me five words to describe yourself. Wow, okay, uh, well, tall, uh, uh, friendly, uh, I hope honest. Uh, fun. I like to have fun, and I, I hope I'm fair to uh, students. Okay. What are four spots that you'd like to travel to? Well, my favorites, uh, I still like to visit spots in this country of historical value. There's a lot of them. I've been to many, but I'd like to go back to some. Uh, I like Ireland. That's always been a favorite of mine. Uh, Switzerland. Uh, Along the Rhine River between France and Switzerland and Germany is a favorite. So let's see that. that I guess that's four. <laughs> that's four. Okay. Mm. What are three of your favorite books or books that you'd recommend others to read? Hmm. Well, I like history books, but uh, I read recently a book entitled Convicted, which was a really powerful story of uh, 
Uh, a police officer who was thinking he was arresting a criminal turned out not to be a criminal later in life after they both served prison sentences. They got together and became very good friends. Uh, I like to read uh, about the Civil War. And so uh, there's a lot of books, but, you know, I like to read history books, uh, a lot of stuff on the Constitution, on uh, uh, important presidents throughout our our country's history. All right. And if you could have dinner with two guests, who would you choose? Well, I've always uh, uh, felt close to my um, college uh, basketball coach. He made a major impact on my life. And so uh, whenever I get a chance, and it happens once every three or four years to have dinner with him and his wife, who I love and respect. That's fun. Do you have another one? Oh, another one. Well, I thought husband and wife counted. Uh, well, I guess I would like to have dinner with Ronald Reagan. He always fascinated me. So, yeah. Coach and his wife and Ronald Reagan. Okay. okay. That, that sounds cool. good. All right. And finally, what's one piece of advice you have for your students? Well, I would I would just encourage them to, you know, always do their best. You know, I like to tell them that I think life is a participation sport. You know, if you get involved, do your best, you'll get more out of it. You'll contribute more. You'll have more fun. Um, and so, uh, you know, I heard once that uh, somebody said, you got to have a good attitude. You know, uh, your attitude really becomes your passport, in other words, your window to the world, or it can become your prison, which really ties you down and traps you. So do your best and have a good, positive attitude. All right, Mr. Stad, thank you so much for being here today. Learn more about our amazing teachers and Freedom Project Academy at fpeusa.org.